Hi everyone, welcome back uh, to another tutorial uh, Employee Payroll Management System This is part 12 I believe and this tutorial we're going to learn how to add the gender through uh, radio buttons so this is our add employee page and if you did not uh, please check out my previous tutorials to reach this tutorial and to do this, and uh, we're gonna drag it a bit down. <coughs> I'm gonna add a label. Uh, we're gonna call it gender. There you go. And and then we're gonna grab a radio button. That's one, and that's two. So we're gonna name it a uh, male, and the other one we're gonna name it female. And now we're gonna change the variable name to we're gonna call it R a male, okay. And the second one is R female, R for radio. So I'm gonna right click events action action performed, and there you go. We're gonna do gender equals male. Don't worry, you're gonna get an error now, but don't worry about that. Uh, R underscore male dot set selected true, and then we're gonna disable uh, the R female when we are when we select the male. So R female dot set selected false. And now we're going to design the second one, events, action, action performed. There you go. So we're going to do gender equals um, female, and we're going to say or female dot set selected true or male so we're going to disable the male radio button set selected false save that go over here in the end and just go over here and do gender uh, sorry do private string gender and now we're gonna scroll up and here and we're gonna say PST dot set a string ten and we're gonna say gender. There you go. Save that and go your design. Uh, right click and let's test. So when you select this you can't select this and when you select this you can't select this. Put it in test, we're gonna select male add record. You're gonna get an error because we have this one blank and also we have see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't have the eight, eight's gonna be the image, which will be our next tutorial. Stay tuned for that one. But you have no problems anyways. So we're gonna go to to our uh, database, we're going to refresh and you can see we selected male so if we select female uh, add record, successful ok, we're going to go back we're going to refresh, you can see added a record and nothing in it but, a f but female uh, thank you for watching this tutorial uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for the next one the next one is going to be very interesting